All right, so next up, we are going to do some doorway stretching. And I'm going to show you um, in an imaginary doorway right here. <laughs> um, I'm also going to show you alternatives to get the same benefit on a foam roller or a rolled towel or a rolled yoga mat. You don't have to have a foam roller. Foam rollers are great, um, but you can use something else in the same shape. I recommend a long foam roller that is long enough that your head can rest on it and it is long enough that also your tailbone can rest on it. So it's the full length of your spine. Um, and if you don't have a foam roller like that, I would actually say use a rolled up towel or a rolled up f um, yoga mat instead um, for what we're gonna be doing today. So first off, um, I will show you the doorway version of this. So I'm gonna put a um, goal posted arm out on one edge of the doorway and the other one on the other edge of the doorway and then I'm going to make sure my feet are both planted on the floor, my hips are aligned facing forward, my feet are aligned facing forward, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to step forward. It's not a lunge, I'm just stepping forward. And then, as you see, my arms move with me, but if they were in a doorway, they would stay on the doorway, so when I have stepped through the doorway, I'm feeling a stretch into the front of my shoulder and into my pecs. You're going to address a different part of your pecs by doing this goal posted and doing this straight out. If your doorway is not um, conducive to being able to do straight out or even um, this uh, goal posted version, see what you can do just one arm at a time um, if that if your doorway is better for that but if you can do it both both at once great um, Jay how do you ever make time to do this remember to do this um, so usually we walk through doors when we go to the bathroom so that can be a great time to be like oh I'm gonna do this for 30 seconds <laughs> probably after I leave the bathroom because now I don't need to pee but um, you know just take just take you know 10 20 30 seconds to hang out and open your shoulders and like have that be helpful before you go sit back down perhaps at a desk or on your phone um, to you know allow things to open up a bit to do this instead um, with the foam roller oh actually I actually will show you this um, on the wall first. Doot, doot, doot. So you can put your foam roller or your yoga mat um, or a towel against the wall and then I'm just going to lean into it. I'm just gonna have my feet flat on the floor. I'm gonna breathe. I'm gonna open this way allowing my elbows to start to creep back towards the wall and my wrists to start to creep back towards the wall um, based on my body, they will probably never reach the wall. That is okay. <laughs> We're just creating an intention to open up that, in that amount. <laughs> and then we can go out to the side. Um, it also can feel great to keeping your weight, like, kind of pushed into this foam roller here. If you just roll a little bit. Um, side to side on the foam roller so you're kind of opening up the inside edge of your shoulder blade that can feel great much easier to do on the floor which I will show you in a minute alright so if we do this on the floor I'm just gonna drop that down there like that I'm gonna sit sit on the edge of this foam roller again so I can have enjoy the full length of my spine being on this foam roller and my head has something to rest on as well. I'm gonna goal post my arms. Oh, that feels great. I'm gonna see if my elbows and my wrists can reach the floor. They're not going to. I would have to lay on this thing for an hour for that to happen and that's okay. 
but I'm feeling a big stretch through my pecs here. I can do this straight out. I can also kind of roll to the side, really open up that shoulder, use my other arm to support myself on the floor so I'm not rolling off the foam roller. And while I am down here, I will show you um, a, a yoga stretch that um, a lot of us often do just because it feels good and it's a good one for anxiety, but it's also particularly helpful um, for shoulder opening. And um, it is while it's more of like a hip side body stretch, it's it's really good for getting that that pec opening as well. So it's the one where you bring your knee to your chest and. Let's do this in pieces to get more benefits. So I'm just gonna hang out here with my knee to my chest squeezed for a while. And I'm just gonna breathe, maybe roll my ankle, make sure my foot is flexed back towards my face. And then I'm gonna allow my hip to rotate over. And then I'm gonna goal post out my arm and I am really feeling this into my shoulder and my arm with this le this opposite leg the other direction. And I'm feeling a stretch into my side body all the way down to my hip in a way that I wasn't even feeling um, on the foam roller a minute ago or on the wall. So try out try that out if um, that works for your body. Um, that can feel really great. Um, another thing that I love to do is tennis ball under literally whatever part of your body feels tense. Um, you can do this on the wall by um, placing the ball behind your shoulder or anywhere along your spine, literally the full length of your spine all the way down. You can do it into your glutes, wherever. Um, you can put, like, imagine this is the wall. You can put a um, towel against the wall and then the ball and you can do this on the wall you can also do this on the floor which is what I'm, I'm about to show you if the ball rolls around too much you can always put the ball in a sock and like throw the ball over your shoulder um, to keep it in the sock um, so if you did this on the floor what this would look like is my ball is in that that really tense part of my shoulder you know that gets knotted up from doing a lot of computer work I'm just gonna lay on it and breathe. And then eventually I'm gonna start to raise my arm. I'm gonna, I'm realizing I want the um, ball a little farther down the inside of my shoulder blade right now. So I'm gonna try that. Oh yeah, that's better. Raising my arm, I'm doing a circle. going across my body, I'm opening up all the way, doing another circle. Um, I often tell clients, imagine this is my fist <laughs> and put it where, you know, you would want me to put like my soft fist into your shoulder. <laughs> um, and then just like see what adding some arm movement feels like. Um, you can also, if you have some kind of device to roll your body with, this is literally the rolling pin from my kitchen. I did not spend money on a fancy roller offline. Um, you can, you know, do some good rolling of arms, neck, um, side body, um, yeah, anywhere anywhere your imagine can take can take you this rolling pen can be a great friend um, I will show you another couple things down here on my mat um, that are good to do for the muscles on either side of your spine in the back between the shoulder blades the rhomboids um, if you are someone who binds those rhomboids um, do not have to work most of the time. The binder is just holding you up. Those rhomboids basically get to go offline. 
We need to make sure that they are activated at when you take your binder off or you know you can also do this with your binder on you're just going to get more effect um, when you take your binder off and this is a great stretch to do right after you take your binder off to make sure to remind the rhomboids that they exist and they we can engage them um, so rhomboids are the rowing muscle so when you do this you are engaging your rhomboids this is a great movement for anybody who uses a phone or a computer. <laughs> we are keeping our shoulders down, we are keeping our elbows next to our body, we are reaching forward and pulling. We don't even need to do this with bands. We can just do this motion and I am feeling all kinds of things in my triceps and along my side body and I'm also trying to squeeze the I'm trying to squeeze my rhomboids and trying to squeeze my shoulders. <sighs> feeling that other things want to help <laughs> um, you can intensify this a little bit um, if you get on your foam roller and do it in that direction I like to incorporate three or four pound weights um, or more you know if I'm trying to bulk up then maybe I would use 15 20 pound weights whatever but um, if I'm just trying to focus on loosening and softening and creating like movement in all, in all of this, I would use like a lighter pair, pair of weights. So getting back on foam roller here, getting my weights, bef allowing them to help me get down and I'm gonna keep my elbows in allow my elbows to go all the way down to the mat or as much as they can and then straight up. It's still a row, we're just pushing this time. Or you can imagine you're rowing if you start up here. And just make sure your core is engaged, you're breathing. Um, I often also like to do some chest press when I'm on my foam roller or on my rolled yoga mat or on my rolled towel to really open up the chest in a different direction. Okay, great. So um, I will show you all a few more upper body things in the next video. Hope this has been helpful.